Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> now I got this this long mic. This long mic. I could talk to you from all the way over here, or I could come up right up close. Actually, I'm gonna come right up close, right where I'm focused, and I'm gonna tell you about frames today. This video is about social frames. By the end of the video, if I do my job correctly, you're gonna know what a frame is, you're gonna understand what it looks like, what you look like to other people, you're gonna understand why you want a stronger frame or a seemingly stronger frame, and you're gonna understand and be able to train yourself on how to do so. That's my job today. I'm gonna do it well. I'm gonna do it the best I can. I hope you enjoyed the video. Sit back, relax, lock in, and let's get a diamond hard frame. I'm gonna show you why you want one. Let's do it. All that I want in this life is the chance to do my thing. All that I want in this life is the chance to do my thing. I want the top All my people right there in the back of the spot I need the top If you know me, y'all know me to stop I need the top All my people there in the back of the spot Let them be shot All right, so what is a frame? All right, when I say the word frame, you probably think of the thing that surrounds a picture. In socializing, a frame is a short word to describe pretty much your sense of self. It is your sense of self. It's pretty much, in layman terms, how you carry yourself. And ultimately, when you get down to a nuance point and you shed away everything, when it all boils down, it's the degree to which you can absorb social pressure. I'm going to explain later, but it is the degree to which you are non-reactive and you, your personality is outflowing. So frames range on a spectrum from weaker to stronger, okay, generally. And the reason that you want a stronger frame is because you'll be perceived more as a leader. You'll be more mature and basically what it is when you have a stronger frame is you have more self-control. You have more self-control and basically ultimately that is the ultimate power you have power over yourself and that is the ultimate sense of power you have power exuding you people are attracted to powerful people okay you can have command over people you can have influence other over others both legally and influentially your ability to persuade that's great but the ultimate sense of power is self-control those with stronger frames exude power and exude a sense of self-control. And that's control of their emotions, it's control over the, uh, over the way that others affect them, and pretty much, like I said before, it's self-control. And there's a lot of things that will happen once you can kind of present yourself as having a, a sense of self-control. I myself, I'm only 22, I don't look older than my age, but sometimes when I act or interact with people and they're like, how old are you? I'm like, well, how old do you think I am? Oftentimes they get like 25, 26, and they're kind of confused because sometimes I act older than my age or I appear to be more mature than what my age is. Well, that's because of frames, and I'm going to show you why that is, why I appear that way, and how you can do the exact same for yourself. Weaker frames, on the other hand, they're more, you're going to seem less mature. You're going to seem less in control of yourself. You're not going to be as attractive, and you're not going to be able to be as funny really because you'll be reacting and you'll kind of be more those with strong like short uh weaker frames are more reactive and more conscious of what other people are thinking of them a stronger frame you're more you know just being yourself and that's coming from you know within towards the outer world to your external environment when you have a weaker frame, you're more taking stuff in, you're reacting to your external environment. You're reacting to what other people think of you, what other people are judging, social pressures, different environment and stimuli around you. And it blurs who you truly are. To be quite honest, it really does. Now, I haven't had a strong frame my entire life and I've built it up and I think as kids we all have uh, weaker frames and we build it up as we mature and that's part of the maturing process but those with weaker frames are perceived to be less themselves really and one thing that happens when you develop a stronger frame is your ability to handle social pressure increases and therefore you become funnier that's true you become funnier because when you tell a joke you're going out on a limb you're taking a risk because people could either laugh or not laugh and if they don't laugh you go down if they laugh, you go up. 
So anytime there's a movement, you're taking some sort of a risk. There's a bit of risk there. There's a bit of pressure. Your ability to handle that, keep your frame, tell the joke, and make people laugh is directly related to the frame that you have. You get my point. I don't know if that made sense. I kind of went in a loop, but get the point, hopefully. Okay. All right, so why do you want a stronger frame? Why is it better to have a stronger frame? Well, here's why. The first and most prominent reason for me personally is because it's a lot easier to attract females. Now, I can make an entire video on this, which I am going to do. It has a lot to do with alpha and beta energy. But as a man with a stronger frame, it's much, much easier to attract females. Actually, it happens pretty much naturally and it's inevitable. A lot of evolution going on, but the stronger your frame, the more attracted women will be to you. Okay. Like I said, there's going to be an entire video. I could elaborate on this forever, but this video is solely about frames. We're going to do that in a sub sequential, subsequent video. But in addition to that, the main thing that having a stronger frame does, and this affects everybody, not just women as a man, you command way more respect. You command a ridiculously more amount of respect because your sense of self is how other people see you. You're the inner reflection of the outer world that you perceive. If you perceive yourself to be not worthy, less funny, sad, depressed, if you think of yourself as kind of lame and boring and uninterested, well, guess what? Other people will think of you the exact same way. This applies to frames. If you respect yourself, other people will expect, will respect you as well. Why am I s switching up all my words today? Maybe it's because I need to strengthen my frame. You'll be able to express yourself in a more genuine and true way. You'll be able to open up and be vulnerable to others, tell others how you truly feel about them. That's one of the things that's really happened to me and it's a skill that I've developed because of you know, also simultaneously uh, developing a stronger frame. But the ability to tell somebody how you truly feel about them, open up, be vulnerable, and have deep conversations about other people with other people is an amazing skill and it is one of the most satisfying human experiences that you can have with another person. One of the reasons that I can open up to you, be so genuine and so vulnerable with you, looking into the camera, looking deep into you, and making you feel like you truly know me, is because I have a strong frame. If you want this, if you want this skill, it's trainable, keep watching. Subscribe. I'm going to teach you this shit. You'll be able to be vulnerable and you'll be able to express yourself to a greater degree. Express who you truly are because you're being unaffected by external stimuli. And because you have a stronger frame and you exude a bit of self-control and power, people will open you up. People will start conversations with you. What's the greatest way to network? What's the greatest networking skill that you can have? What's the greatest way to do it? It's to have other people start conversations with you. It's having other people wanting to network with you. What's the greatest way to attract a female? What's the best pickup line? What's the best blah, blah, blah? Well, it's having her being interested in you and starting a conversation with you. Flip the script. Now, I'm not saying that it's automatically going to happen. Oh, I have a strong frame now. And then you just have people running to you signing your autograph, wanting you to sign them your autograph. No, it doesn't work like that, but it's going to increase your chances. It's going to stack the deck in your favor. Now, I could go on and on about strong and weak frames, but fortunately, I could just show you. We're going to go through a little bit of infield footage, infield where I'm in the field talking to other people, exuding my frame. I'm kind of exuding one right now, a strong frame. If you can't tell right now, I'm pretty sure of myself. I know what I'm saying. I believe in what I'm saying. I have confidence in what I'm saying. It's worked out for me and I experientially understand what I'm saying to you, my being, I'm good with who I am. I'm not reacting to you. I'm not reacting to the people around me. I'm not reacting to whatever stimuli or faces that are looking at me, the eyes that are looking at me right now. I'm sure of myself. I'm in my zone. I'm in my frame and therefore you're in my frame. I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so let's dive into infield. I analyzed some stuff that I shot before and you'll take a look at frames for real. Frames, frame, 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 frames, frame, 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 frames. Voila, all of a sudden we're not in the middle of a fucking lake in a forest. We're in Costa Rica and I'm going to tell you about frames, all right? So this is the infield analysis of frames and basically what I want to do in this segment is outline for you what a strong frame looks like, the components of that so that you can see it in the future and you understand what I'm talking about when I reference frames in future videos and then we're going to look at weaker frames and so I want to convey to you in just like 
depict to you the entire spectrum. So we're going to go from one extreme to the other extreme. This first clip takes place in Florence, Italy. It actually happens on the Ponte Vecchio, which literally means old bridge. Now, the Ponte Vecchio is a very famous bridge. If you've ever been to Florence or you traveled, you did your backpacking trip to Europe, or you just know anything about history or Italy, you might have heard about Ponte Vecchio. It's kind of a famous bridge. But anyway, so I'm standing there with a good friend of mine named Emily, all right? Now, I want you to sort of understand the characteristics of the strong frame that I'm portraying. There's a lot of social pressure right now, and the fact that we're making a video in front of a lot of people, this is a famous fucking bridge. There's a lot of eyes, and there's a lot of social pressure. Now, I'm gonna tell you how to deal with social pressure in the rest of this video, after this infield analysis. You're gonna get the key, it's a fucking secret, it's the secret sauce. You're gonna understand how I'm dealing with it, but I just want you to see what it looks like, okay? So I'm gonna play the clip, and I just want you to feel just be aware of how you feel during this clip. Well, hello, hello, Vivi. This is Evan with my good friend who has to introduce herself a little bit later. We're in Italy right now, but I don't know why I'm doing a French accent and a shitty job with that. Come here, pal. <laughs> I'm here with... Emily. Now, there's many different ways that that could have played out. All right, there's many different ways that I could have started the video. I'll tell you right now, I don't know if you could pick up on it, because you can't see anybody else, but this is like a fucking crowded bridge. It's really fucking famous. There are a lot of eyes on us. The fact that we're making a video brings attention to us. So Emily's a little kind of nervous. She's like, mm, there's a lot of people looking at me right now. And me, I've done this before. I have a stronger frame. I've been through the experience, which is one of the components of a strong frame. And so I handle it. Now, somebody with a strong sense of self broadens that energy. It's, how do I say, infectious. So the only way that I can make another person feel comfortable is I myself feel comfortable. That's done via joking. You'll hear a lot that you should just be yourself. Attract females by being yourself. Just be yourself and other people will come to you. And that's 100% true, but a lot of us don't know how to do that. Me joking, me being a silly fuck on a very important bridge, making a very important video that I'm going to look back upon and show my fucking kids when I went to the Ponte Vecchio in Italy is hilarious because I'm joking, I'm doing a fucking French accent. If there was a to-do on how to attract women, on how to attract other people, how to make other people attracted and interesting, interested in talking to you, and they said, do a French accent, they'd be like, what the fuck? I'm not even kind of being myself, but I'm joking around. Your natural energy, your natural flow is silly. It's funny. It's outflowing and outpouring. It's relaxed, it's joyous, and it's present. And that's one of the reasons that we laugh, is to bring us back to presence. Now, I talked about how having a strong frame is amazing in tracking females. Well, check this out. Where are you from, Emily? I'm from Houston, Texas. And what do you like to do in your free time, Emily? <laughs> I don't think it's appropriate <laughs> for me to say this on YouTube. She likes to do things. Like, it was okay. It was like, it was like really okay. It was like, okay. You have yellow. Your eyes are like little sun clouds. Now, it's going to look a lot clearer once we look at somebody with a weak frame. So, we're going to head over to another video when I'm in fucking Armenia with a buddy of mine. Um, out in a really cool place, but just look and try to feel the energy that's being conveyed. What's being conveyed overtly is completely different from what's being conveyed covertly. Notice his frame. About to go down. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here, buddy. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Hi. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm doing really well now that I'm next to you. <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from Jordan, but I live in Saudi Arabia. Oh, that's really cool, man. Yeah. yeah. And what are we doing right here? We are in the Alphabet Valley. It's the Armenian alphabet mm. that was created in the 5th century mm. by some Armenian guy. And <laughs> by some Armenian guy. <laughs> and how does it make you feel? Well, I feel like this world is a huge place that has lots of different uh, uh, nationalities, lots of different uh, languages. Feeling. How do you feel? How does Fadi make you feel? 
Now, I love Fadi, and I'm just gonna say this right before I start to analyze him. Fadi's a really good friend of mine, and he's actually a really cool dude, honestly. Being in front of a camera kind of makes people act differently, if you're on the spot, if you're not ready for it, if you don't have the experience, whatnot. He also could have woken up on the wrong side of that bed that day. There's a lot of factors that go into the frame that he's holding right now. This is just solely an example of a weak frame, okay? So here are the characteristics that I want you to kind of pick up on. I'm joking around. My energy is up, all right? I'm having a light, loosey-goosey time. I'm like, hey, we're in a fucking alphabet valley, okay? I'm like, what's up, dude? It's good to see you. Notice my energy and notice kind of like you might be smiling during. You might be feeling an uptake in energy. Now, when he comes on, it gets drained. It gets dense. It gets heavy. It gets serious, okay? Those are all the characteristics that you should be picking up on. That's kind of the energy that's, that's flowing from him. Now, why is that happening? Well, he's not too sure of himself. He's a bit nervous. Nervousness and anxiety are a massive characteristic of a weaker frame, all right? It's a less sense of self. What's really happening, just to take things down a layer, just go deeper, dive deeper a layer, unbox it, as some people would call, is that he's in what's called a competitive frame. And basically what's happening is that in the past, he was told that he was wrong. There's a bit of trauma going on, and it happens within us. I'm victim to it too. We're gonna look at it when I had a weak frame too. There's a bit of trauma, and so he feels like he needs to perform up to my standards, or the standards of whoever he's with, and in this case, it's me. He needs to perform, so you don't naturally implement us and ums into everyday conversation. That's not who you are. You're not somebody, you don't normally talk with us and ums. You don't pause like that. The reason that you do that is because you feel the need to perform. Now the fact that you're performing means that you could be wrong and you feel like you can do wrong because in the past you have. Fadi and whoever has a weak frame has a bit of trauma. There's a bit of trauma. You don't think of, well, most of us think of trauma as like you get a cut and it gets swollen and inflamed. But emotional trauma is when he could have gotten yelled at. Some of us could have gotten yelled at. He could have been told that he was wrong and he doesn't want that pain to happen again. So he's trying to prevent it. He's trying to prevent being wrong or being in the wrong, whatever the fuck you call it, being bad, being wrong. And the way that you do that, or the way that it's Fadi's doing that, is with us and ums. And his body language, he's trying to, you know, live up to an expectation, he's moving, he's getting nervous. We can feel that, you can feel that he's nervous and a bit anxious. Me, I'm just smiling, I'm there, and blah blah blah. Now, also feel that Fadi is a bit harder to listen to. It takes more willpower and mental bandwidth to listen to Fadi than it does to listen to me. Because with me, I'm just sharing who I am. Whether with Fadi, he's trying to live up to something that he's not. When I mentioned before that it takes a lot less energy, a lot less mental bandwidth, it's one of the benefits of having a stronger frame is that you're not coming from a place where you need to perform, when you need to live up to somebody else's expectations, when you need to fill up into somebody else's frame. When you have a strong frame and you have a strong sense of self, when you're talking about yourself, when you're talking about your feelings, when you're talking about anything, it's sharing. It's like having a water balloon and poking that shit and letting it outflow, okay? The water balloon is already fucking full and it's just flowing. It's sharing its water. You're sharing your energy. You're not trying to fill it up. You're not trying to be something that you're not. And it takes so much less mental bandwidth because you're not thinking about if you're, am I doing this right? Am I self auditing myself? Am I... Am I saying this correctly? Am I living up to his expectations? Like, no. And how does it make you feel? Well, I feel like this world is a huge place that has lots of different uh, uh, nationalities, lots of different uh, languages. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> when you're sharing, you cannot be wrong. When I'm talking to you right now, I can't be wrong. What's crazy about this, I, can, I just can't be wrong. There's nothing that I can say to you right now that's wrong. And that's why I'm able to communicate to you in high fidelity. That's why it's easier for you to fucking listen. It doesn't take a lot of mental bandwidth because I'm sure of what I'm saying and I want you to fucking listen. With Fadi, uh, we're in an alphabet valley and 
and uh, it's really cool. And uh, we're out here in Armenia. All of a sudden it goes from upbeat to serious. And you, I just want you to notice the energy, the frame. You should be able to pick up on Fadi's frame versus mine. There's a massive difference in polarity and what's going on right now, okay? Like I said, I love Fadi. He's a really fucking good dude and I can help him. And this is about a year ago, so he might have changed so far. So this is nothing about Fadi. This is, do not take this personal Fadi, but this is just an example of a weaker frame. Now, me, yes, I've had two strong frames in these clips, but I'll show you, you know, you can see my journey with these videos. That's the beautiful thing about it. I'll show you back when I started making videos, my weaker frame. And you'll be able to appreciate the journey and the work that one can put into themselves when you see me start out. Check this out. What's up guys? Today I want to talk about the fear of missing out, aka FOMO. Because it's a big problem with millennials and it's a growing issue um, within the people that I know, interact with, and everybody around the world. So let's dive in. I'm going to tell you um, how I overcame FOMO and how I recently helped my friend overcome FOMO and hopefully you'll be able to use our tactics for your own benefit and really improve your life. So the first thing that I did um, to kind of get over my FOMO, I didn't have it a lot. I'll put some links to resources in the uh, caption section below where you can check out various sorts of uh, resources that can help you um, you know, block different sites, start meditating, and just have a different outlook on things. But yeah, now we have the mindset where other people are missing out on my stuff rather than I'm missing out on their stuff. And uh, it's a great feeling. Notice that I exhibit a lot of the same characteristics as Fadi. I'm like, uh, uh, that's pretty cool. Eye contact, not that bad, not that great. My body language, it's okay. But I'm not like amped to talk to you. I don't truly believe in what I'm saying. I'm like, yeah, you can check out Headspace. Yeah, uh, FOMO, it's a real problem, okay? It's cool to be able to check out a weak frame and understand what a strong frame is and kind of get that, you know, spectrum. But check this out. This is what's fucking cool about video and making vlogs over time. Is that I can look back on and take a video where I'm talking about headspace and when I'm talking about FOMO, the same exact fucking subject, and you can see the evolution of the frame and better understand the fucking spectrum that we're talking about here. So I'm talking right here about headspace and I'm like, I'm gonna provide a link to what's called headspace below. So you can get started on take 10, which is meditating for 10 minutes for 10 days. And I believe that if you do that, you'll get hooked and addicted, okay? And it's the most amazing addiction you'll ever have. I cannot wake up in the morning and get to class without meditating, okay? You might be able to see, you might be able to feel a different vibe, okay? I'm more clear in my intent. I want you to fucking listen. I'm sure of what I'm saying. And that comes from experience. That comes from doing what are called social pressure workouts. It comes from just living fucking life and pushing my outer boundaries, all right? Getting through a little bit of fear and healing some trauma. Trauma, that's another video that we're gonna talk about, emotional trauma, manifests itself in different ways. Here, with frames, it manifests itself by having a weaker frame, you know? All right, anyway, I digress. But notice a little bit of progression. Now, about eight months after that second video, I'm in Ibiza and I'm talking about meditation again. Now check this out. It's, we're going to crank it up a notch to a little bit of a... <clears throat> now eight months later after that second video, in about almost two years after the first video, we're going to crank things up a notch. I'm talking about the same exact thing. Overtly I'm communicating pretty much just about the same thing, but covertly you can tell my frame is a lot fucking stronger. Now you're like, alright Evan, how the fuck do I do this? How do I train my brain? Here's the number one way to do it. I've alluded to it before. I've told you it probably, if you watch my videos, I've told you like five or six times. It's meditation. Meditation will make you happy. Meditation will make you happy. Your happiness will increase with meditation. And that's how you're gonna do it. You're gonna meditate. You're gonna download Headspace. You're gonna do take 10. You're gonna meditate 10 minutes for 10 days and you're gonna get hooked like I did four years ago. You're gonna train your brain with its synaptic pathways and the way that you're gonna do that is meditation. I want you to listen. I want you to meditate. You can feel that. You can feel 
the benefits that I've had and you can feel, you can fucking feel that I want you to listen to me and I want you to do and comply with what I'm saying. Notice that. I'm more sure of myself. I'm more sure of what I'm saying. That's what the whole frame is. And also, I'm a lot more grounded. I'm not afraid to slow down the speed of what I'm talking. I'm not afraid to create some, what are called, vacuums or spaces in between what I'm saying so that you can get drawn in. Whew. What am I about to say next? It's a good question. Now, another key aspect of a strong frame, and you can actually see this play out a little bit in a weaker frame, but you'll see it manifest itself in a stronger frame where it's not that the other person is bullying, like the person with the strong frame is bullying the other person, but it's almost like they're it's almost like they're dominating. They know themselves. They're not looking for the other person's validation. They know who they are. They don't need external stimuli, other people to get validated. They're already validating themselves. Therefore, they don't give a fuck. We don't give a fuck about any expectations that we meet or not. We don't give a shit about the expectations. So whether we fail or we meet them, it doesn't fucking matter. Our sense of self is grounded within us. Therefore, you will see that the other person isn't looking for a reaction. They're not looking for an approval, okay? And you're gonna see this play out with this chick on the strip. She's like, yeah, yeah, I'm good at fucking, what did she say? Cause like, you can't get charisma like that. You have to be born with that. Oh, you think you have to be born with a yeah. set base of charisma? Yeah. Do you think it's a trainable skill? Well, maybe a little, but you have to have something inside. Are you special or not? Yeah? You think so? Yeah. Okay. Do you think you have charisma? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah? I think you do too. Thanks for coming on the channel. You're Thanks. awesome. That's somebody who knows that they're fucking good at conversations. And also notice that she doesn't have to say anything else. She does not have to say anything else. She doesn't have to qualify herself. She knows that she's good at conversations and there's a dude asking about it. So she's like, yeah. I'm good with conversations. And also notice that me, who also has a stronger frame, I'm like, oh, nice. And there's a bit of energy that gets mixed around and, and tossed around that we create, where it's like we both acknowledge that we're both okay with each other, that we're both within ourselves. Notice that. I don't know if you could pick up on that. Maybe it's only me. But we both understand who we are, and we acknowledge that mutual understanding. Because I joke with her, and I lighten the mood. And the only people that can lighten moods are the ones that are light within themselves. They're not heavy, they're not carrying trauma, they're not carrying bad vibes, all right? Pick up on that. I love the last infield clip that I'm about to show you. So check this out. I was in Lugano, Switzerland when I was going to school, all right? When I was learning about this fucking shit, I had to learn it in another fucking language. And the next clip is in another fucking language. It's in Italian. You're gonna have no idea what the fuck I'm saying unless you speak Italian. And that's the point. I don't want you to be able to fucking understand what is being said. Just feel the vibe and understand the body language, the tone of voice, the eye contact, and just the energy that I'm giving off. And then notice the energy that Rodrigo is giving off. And we're gonna come back real quick. Okay, Sara, ti chiami Sara? Natalie. Natalie. Sara. Natalia, scusami. Ho sentito ci sono altri altre persone che solamente vengono a seven o pure chocolate con un tavolo, non gli piacciono ballare. Del fatto che facciano il tavolo ma che non gli piace ballare. Solamente tavolo, solamente bere e uscire. Beh, non capisco perché andare in discoteca allora. Allora è meglio stare in un bar, fare un tavolo in un bar e parlare, sentirsi, se non balli. Sono d'accordo. Dove incontri gli uomini? In che senso? Dove... Se tu stai cercando per un uomo, un, un ragazzo, una ragazza non mi interessa. Eh, dove, dove vai? O dove, dove mi consigli di andare per incontrare ragazze? Eh, bisogna uscire, esci, fai un aperitivo così, magari riesci a conoscere qualcuno okay. e okay. cose così. Okay. Se no in università ha okay. anche un contesto università, scolastico. Sì. Sì. Vero. Però devo migliorare il mio italiano prima, sì, è vero. Sì. Siamo qua con Ivan, 
E la gerente qua del Morito, un gran piacere, grazie mille Ivan, come va? Grazie a voi, grazie. benissimo, grazie. Voleva sapere come ti va la serata qua a Lugano, come ti va la serata qua a Lugano in comparazione a altre città? Adesso che inizia la bella stagione ci sono varie attività, d'inverno è un po' più sì. spenta, un po' più morta, sì. ma con l'estate si sta bene, Aiuto. si esce, sì, sì. È, è meglio, è diciamo, diverso. ci sono, si sta meglio d'estate. Okay. Dopo è paragonabile, non so, a Milano, a Bologna, dove sì. sono stato, però... A Modena tu vedi questa differenza? Qua a Lugano che si vede la differenza all'inverno, la serata all'inverno e all'estate? Si, si vede anche a Modena, secondo te? Anche lì, soltanto che là c'era vicino a Bologna, quindi quando vuoi fare serata vai, vai a Bologna, Bologna così come quando vuoi fare sì. serata d'inverno vai a sì. Milano. Perfetto, perfetto. Eh, Però l'estate si, si sta sì, bene. Sì, è qua bene, non è male. Sì. Notice that my Italian is not as good as Rodrigo's. I'm in fear in that aspect, and I know that. At the time, I knew that, and it's obviously evident in the fucking video. He speaks Portuguese, so his Italian is on fucking point. But my energy is a bit more grounded. Understand that my frame is a bit stronger. And just look at Rodrigo. If we look at Rodrigo, he's nodding his head a lot more. He's looking for that validation from the other person. Me, I'm not really looking for the validation. I'm just like, hey, what do you got to say? I'm cool with what I'm saying. Are you cool with your saying? Are you cool with what you're saying? Are you, you know, clear in your intent? Are you all right? Rodrigo, he's like, mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm. He's kind of looking for a reaction. He's looking for that bit of validation. And it's fucking weird when somebody's talking and <laughs> the person that you're talking to, if you're talking and the other person is like, ah, oh, yeah, perfect, perfect. That, that doesn't make any sense. Si, anche, si vede anche a Modena, secondo te? Anche lì, soltanto che là c'era vicino a Bologna, quindi quando vuoi fare serata vai, vai a Bologna, Bologna, Bologna così come quando vuoi fare sì. serata d'inverno vai a sì. Milano. Perfetto, perfetto. Eh, però... Now, if you're talking to somebody and you're explaining or responding to a question that they asked you and the other person is like, perfect, perfect, it just feels fucking weird and it's almost like Rodrigo is trying to perform and, you know, level himself up because well he feels kind of you know subpar i don't really know rodrigo's a fucking cool dude he does well in life he's a really nice guy and he generally has a stronger frame but being in front of a camera like i said with fadi it's not necessarily him this is just an example okay so you can't understand anything that we're fucking saying nobody's saying unless you speak italian but notice the frame notice my sense of self and my being my energy my body language my eye contact and notice Rodrigo's body language. He's looking down and he's not necessarily making the best eye contact. His tonality is a little bit different. He's more, not stifled, because his Italian is really fucking good, but it's almost like you can't get his shit out quick enough. And he's almost, almost doubling against his words. He's, there's a bit of fear of not speaking correctly and not speaking fast enough. That's fear, that's trauma, it's coming up. Any kind of fear that you have diminishes your frame. It's kind of what frames are all about. So you can sense that. Now those are the, you know, semantic descriptions, but the real thing that I want you to kind of understand and feel is the feeling. Feel the feeling. Be the feeling. Be aware of the feeling. And what you can do from here is once you understand and you're aware of the feelings of a strong frame and a weak frame and everything in between, I hope this is the key key fucking point is that you're aware of the feeling that you're giving to other people now that you're aware and you can see the differentiations between strong and weak frames within other people hopefully my goal here is that you can see the frame and the energy that you're portraying to other people that's the most important that's the most important part it doesn't fucking matter if you could see you know you could watch my videos and get the vibe You need to understand your own vibe so that you can tailor it to the vibe that you want to convey to other people, covertly. You need to understand your fucking energy in order to change it, okay? And maybe you think that you're completely fine. Maybe you think that you're perfect right where you are. I'm not saying that you're not. Just be aware of the vibe that you're giving out and the frame that you're giving out because there are some advantages to having a stronger frame and in the next section of this video I'm going to show you exactly how I've done it with myself. You can see the beautiful journey that I've gone through with what I'm talking about my sense of self. I'm going to show you exactly how I've done that and incorporated that into my life so that you can do the exact same for yourself. It's not about me. This is about you. I love you. Soak in what you're about to see. If I've done my job so far, hopefully you're asking yourself, 
how the fuck do I get a stronger frame, Evan? I know what it is. I understand what it looks like. I understand where I'm at. And I know why I should want a stronger frame. How the fuck do I do that? All right, here's the main thing. Your frame is your sense of self and it's the ability of which you can absorb social pressure. Other people on YouTube and around the world and in books and media inform the general public or anybody reading that frame, a strong frame is like a diamond. You want like a diamond hard frame, right? You want to be able to be completely impervious to social pressure. Now here's the main, main point. Here's how you have a truly diamond hard frame. You do not act as a diamond reflecting everything off. You act as the most absorbent sponge in the motherfucking world, okay? You want to absorb social pressure. It's your ability to absorb social pressure. You don't want to be oblivious to it, okay? A way to have a really strong frame is to get drunk. Getting drunk will increase your frame like that tenfold, okay? But here's the problem. One, well, there's two. One, you're relying on alcohol, and two, you're being oblivious, okay? You wanna be aware of all the social dynamics, all the nuances that are going on around you, all the stimuli that could be affecting the way that you're acting. And then, from there, you wanna absorb all of that social pressure, take it into account, and then deal with it, okay? And that's a skill. The ability to be a sponge, an absorbent sponge, is a skill. Okay, you may not be that malleable now, you may not be that absorbent now, but over time you will get that and there are certain ways to really enhance that growth and speed up the process. Eventually, the ultimate goal is to be like a fucking black hole, okay? You think Earth has great gravity? You want to absorb shit like a black hole. You want to be able to absorb social pressure so much that light cannot fucking escape you. Do you know what I'm saying? You don't want to be like a, bla uh, a diamond reflecting everything off because if you're trying to be non-reactive, then you're trying. Then you are being reactive, okay? You want to take everything into account and absorb that shit. That's what I do and that is the most key and nuanced point of this entire video, okay? So the ability to absorb social pressure is a skill and therefore you can train it and therefore you can do what's called a social pressure workout. And basically what that is, I've also called it a societal disobedience Okay, in, a, in future videos about why I stopped drinking alcohol. But essentially a social pressure workout is when you do stuff or you do something where you will deliberately get a lot of attention and judgment for others and you will deliberately call a lot of social pressure upon yourself. And what that does is because it's at a such a obnoxious level, everything underneath it is going to seem normal. What I mean by that is if you're walking down the street in Vegas with your shirt off, you're going to get a lot of attention, you're going to get a lot of judgment, you're going to get a lot of weird looks, stares and eyeballs at you. The second that you're le you enable yourself to let go of what other people are thinking about you and just keep walking, be loosey-goosey, just be yourself, be aware of the people, don't try to ignore them, don't be oblivious to them, okay? Be aware of all the social pressure around you and then absorb it, take it into account and keep moving forward, keep being yourself, that is when you level up. So like in a workout, normally I'm not lifting like a 25, I'm not curling like a 25 pound barbell at the time. But curling a 25 uh, pound barbell all the time makes it easier to lift boxes. It makes it easier to do normal shit, okay? If this doesn't make sense, basically what you want to do is in a social workout, a social pressure workout, you want to, like a rubber band, just expand and stretch out your ability beyond your comfort zone, right? We wouldn't normally be walking around on the Vegas Strip with a shirt off. And if you write you, hey, come take a picture with Evan. Hey, come take a picture. Hey. Hey, guys, I'm three months no. pregnant. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. Turn your shirt out, bro. No one wants to see that. We wouldn't normally be doing handstands in front of monuments around the world. We wouldn't normally be making videos in front of hundreds of people and calling this level of social pressure upon ourselves. But with the workout, what you want to do is expand. This is out of the norm. You want to do it just for the sake of having a lot of eyes and social pressure on you. Deal with it and then if you're in a high pressure situation that will come up in normal day to day life, you'll be able to handle it better. Why? Because you worked out this skill. You worked out this part of your life. It's fantastic. Me personally, me making these videos actually puts a lot of pressure on me. So 
just to talk about myself for a little bit, the way that I do this is I make videos in public places. I get a lot of eyes on me in this way. I'll also say jokes and I've developed a, a stronger frame over time just by saying jokes and being aware of the dynamic that's playing out, right? Like if you don't know about stronger and weaker frames, you're not gonna be able to actually like move up or, or, or you know, you'd be able to move forward or backward or get stronger or weaker. You're kind of just like floating in, in midair. But if you realize that you're on a spectrum and that you can train it, that there are stronger and weaker frames, you're gonna be able to naturally develop this, okay? Social workouts are one way to do it. Another way is meditation. Meditation will breed your ability to absorb social pressure. You'll be more aware of things. You really will. Meditation will allow you to pick up on more nuance and subtle social dynamics and then the environment around you. You'll be more aware. It's pretty much awareness training and presence training. From there, without getting into a whole nother subject, it is a cultivation of alpha energy. When you're sitting down and meditate and you're like, fuck you world, I'm gonna be myself for a little bit. Basically what you're doing, you're observing your breath, you're observing your thoughts and your sense of self, your true nature is coming out. It's like a, it's like a who you are workout. You know, you have a social pressure workout. Meditation is like who you are workout. And who you are develops and develops and it's cultivated and it, and it blooms like while you're meditating for five or 10 minutes or however long you, you do it. And because you're working out and you're like expanding, it's like this fucking flower blooming. Like your true personality is like blooming while you're meditating. Because you get that bloom while you're meditating, not, it's not necessarily gonna be like that the entire time, but you just expanded that rubber band. You just got out of whatever zone that you were in and you expanded your zone. You expanded your character. You came to fruition a little bit more during that workout. And it's the day in, day out kind of work that you put in that's really gonna develop a diamond hard frame or what really is a black hole. <laughs> we want you to develop a black hole. <laughs> not here, but here a black hole to social pressure, if you know what I mean. And the last thing, you got social pressure workouts, you got meditation, which is a being yourself workout. The last thing, and I'm just like, I'll just make a, a simile or a metaphor. I'm gonna allude to something. Do you think I'd be intimidated by meeting a fitness celebrity if the week before I had had dinner with a friend of mine who's a movie star? Do you think that I'd be intimidated by a cute girl at the bar if I had sex with a playmate last night? Do you get my point? It also comes from experience. Doing new stuff, expanding your character grows upon itself. There's an entire video about social momentum. This is a bit of momentum in a kind of different way. You can train it. Anytime you're training something, you can build momentum and build momentum. And usually that momentum is exponential because it builds upon itself. But hopefully you get the point. Hopefully you understand what a frame is, understand what it looks like, maybe have a good idea of where you are, all right? Maybe the infield described that to you. You want a stronger frame and you know why it's better to have a stronger frame. And now you know how to do that and how to train yourself on how to do so. I want to thank you for listening. I hope you develop a strong frame. I hope you go and live your life. I hope you have an amazing life. I hope you subscribe, like, and share this video. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. I'll see you later. Social frames. We out here. Peace. I'm a diamond. I'm a diamond. I'm a diamond. I. I'm not affected by social pressure. I'm a diamond. I gotta ro have a rock hard frame. I gotta have a rock hard frame. I gotta have a rock hard frame. I gotta ro have a rock hard something. <laughs> no, uh uh. Uh, well, you gotta have one of those too. Hopefully, you don't have to take a pill for it. I gotta have a rock hard frame. I gotta have a rock hard cock. I gotta be a rock fucking hard. And I gotta be diamond hard. And I'm not gonna be affected by social pressure. And I'm gonna stand up for myself. And I'm gonna overcompensate like a motherfucker. And then I'm gonna seem like a beta fucking chode. And nobody's gonna like me. No. Watch the video, be a fucking black hole, be a sponge, absorb that shit, love yourself, be yourself, express who you are, fuck.